Hello and welcome once again. Today we're going to look at two problems from the probability concepts portion of the curriculum. Um, these have to do with the application of the permutation and combination formulas. Now just a quick recap before we get started. When you come across a counting type of problem, there are three basic questions to ask yourself. First of all, if you're trying to distribute a group of size n across the same number n of slots, then you use n factorial. If you want to count the number of ways of choosing r objects from a total of n objects, where the order of listing of the r objects does not matter, then you use the combination formula. And finally, for the same case where the order of listing does matter, you use the permutation formula. Let's look at a couple of examples that will help clarify these points. A firm wants to rank its top three performers from a group of 10 analysts. Now, you're trying to select a group of three from 10. The question you have to ask yourself is, does order matter? Now, obviously in this case, because it's a ranking, order does matter. So if you select A, B, and C, it's different from B, A, and C, or C, B, and A. So when the order matters, we apply the permutation formula. So this becomes a 10p3, which is equal to 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial. And that gives us 720. So C is the correct answer. Let's look at another question. So now there are a group of 20 analysts, 15 of whom have opted into a program to work in groups of three. Now 20 is just a red herring here. It has no meaning to the question because what we're really looking at is out of the group of 15, we're gonna select three. Now does the order matter? In this instance, it doesn't matter because if you select analysts A, B, and C, it's the same grouping as having selected B, C, and A, or C, A, and B in that order. So order does not matter. So this is a combination problem. So this becomes 15C3, which in turn becomes 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. We enter that into our calculator and we get the answer 455. So answer B is the correct option. I hope your prep is coming along nicely. I will try and be back soon with more videos.